Hello lovey dovies, I am MC here and today I'm showing you how to properly download, install, and play the newest version of Crazy Craft 3 on the Voids launcher from Voids Wrath for a Mac. First, pull up your web browser and type in Voids Wrath. Mine shows up because I have it bookmarked. The first thing that should pop up is their site and then I just clicked on the launcher link. That will bring you directly to the launcher page. Scroll down and you will note that there are launcher requirements. Now they're kind of hard to see, but click on where it says Mac and you need to make sure you download both of those Javas. Okay, now we're on the Java download page. Here you'll want to download the highlighted option. From here, just hit the back button to go back to the Void Launcher page. Like before, download the highlighted option. Okay, so from here, click cross-platform download and that is what you need for a Mac. Okay, so I like to use Spotlight Search. So just type in void and it should come up with the voidlauncher.jar. Go ahead and double click and it should open up the Void Launcher logo. Now click the cogwheel icon on the upper right corner and then options. Okay, so now go down where it says Minecraft options and you're going to change the minimum to 1024 and the maximum to 2048 and then unclick the button let Java decide. Okay, so go ahead and click on mod pack and then scroll all the way down. It will be the one on the bottom and then you're going to hit play. Now you'll get this loading screen. It will take a little bit. So I fast forwarded and then you will get the forge loading screen. As I say here, it took a while. I sped it up. Um, so just let it do its thing. When it's done, you'll get the official loading screen and I'm going to show you how to tweak some of the options. Okay, so from here, just hit generate new role like you would. Um, I sped this up because it took about 30 to 45 seconds the first time I tried to generate a new world. So let's see. And you're going to see some text on the screen. Just wait until that goes away. Mass amounts of girlfriends. All right, cool. Okay, so yay, this is something that happens sometimes with Crazy Craft. You get glitches. This is one of the major ones that I have gotten. And you can't break rocks. They just reappear. Um, I deleted this world, started a new one, and it happened again. Um, you can keep trying and it may fix it. So what I did though instead is I went back to the void launcher screen, went back to the mod pack tab. Um, again, scroll all the way down to the bottom so you get the Crazy Craft 3. And then what you're going to want to do is hit reinstall. Uh, it's going to go ahead and reinstall. I think I skipped that part, but now it's back at the um, forge loading screen. And as you saw before, it takes quite a while. So let's go ahead and just let it do its thing and uh, we'll see what goes on from here. Okay, so I already created the world for this video as you saw before, but this is the real time of it loading. So yeah, I didn't speed it up or anything uh, just so you could see about how long it generally takes for it to load all those mods and everything. So that was about 20.5 seconds that it took. Um, so now I'm just doing this to see if the blocks are gonna break. They are now, um, but they reappear and then fall. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and shut this down and go to a world that I've already created. Let's see if it has the lagging issue too, because it didn't before. Okay, so let's see. All right, it breaks with no problem, so it's not having the same issue. All right, so everything looks good. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you got all the information that you need. If not, shoot me a comment. But yeah, go ahead and keep watching for a blooper. Oh, what was that? I mm, sounded like a zombie trying to get in, but it's daytime. Hmm. Okay, wait. 
pressure plates. Who's 